Evaporative cooling is the process by which a local area is cooled by the energy used in the evaporation process, energy that would have otherwise heated the area's surface. It is well known that the paving over of urban areas and the clearing of forest can contribute to local warming by decreasing local evaporative cooling, but it was not understood whether this decreased evaporation would also contribute to global warming. Scientists have long debated about the impact on global climate of water evaporated from vegetation. Now a group of researchers, including Carnegie's Long Cow, Julia Pongrantz, and King Caldera, using a climate model, have found that increased evaporation actually has an overall cooling effect on the global climate. Evaporation cannot directly affect the global balance of energy on our planet. The energy taken up in evaporating water is released back into the environment when the water vapor condenses and returns to Earth, mostly as rain. Globally, this cycle of evaporation and condensation moves energy around, but cannot create or destroy it. Because water vapor plays so many roles in the climate system, the global climate effects of changes in evaporation are not well understood. Researchers even thought it was possible that evaporation could have a warming effect on global climate because water vapor acts as a greenhouse gas in the atmosphere. However, the climate model indicates that increased evaporation tends to cause clouds to form low in the atmosphere, which act to reflect the sun's warming rays back out into space. This has a cooling influence. This shows us that the evaporation of water from trees and lakes in urban parks like New York Central Park not only help keep our cities cool, but also helps keep the whole planet cool. The Carnegie Institution has had over 100 years of extraordinary discoveries. To continue this tradition, Carnegie scientists need your support. For more information about this and other cool science, visit our website at carnegiescience.edu. This is John Strom.